Hello there gamers, Gondor here and welcome to Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 was, I think, the last platformer game in the Mario series. Although there were still other Mario games for the, uh, no, not the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System. So you had games like um, uh, the Dr. Mario series and even the Mario and Yoshi game as well. And then after Mario Bros. 3, and um, when the Super Nintendo came out, that's when they moved on to Super Mario World. Okay, so we can either have a one or a two player. Uh, we're going to go for one player because, um, well, I'm just here myself, so let's get started. Now, I am playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, so... Um, yes, because this was an NES game, there may be um, a difference in the aspect ratio, so obviously it's not going to probably fit the whole screen. Um, but obviously there's nothing I can do about that because obviously NES games were probably more better on very, very, very old TVs. Like, um, I don't know what kind of TVs that they, they used to have back in the 80s or whatever. But anyway, let's go ahead and start level 1. Now, let me just check one thing. Uh, yep, okay, good, we are fine. Because, um, yeah, uh, when I started this, I done a little test and um, the uh, controls on the gamepad were a bit funky. Um, the B button was, was actually run in, instead of jump, which was uh, kind of weird. But don't worry, that is all changed. All, uh, to change the uh, con controller settings, all you need to do is just touch the gamepad. And you can um, uh, change the controller settings to your liking. So, what's new about Mario Bros. 3 that was different from the other ones? Well, as you may have noticed, we have a map system. Um, which shows you all of the levels which are in the world. Um, once you finish a level, you won't be able to go back into it. Unlike um, in, uh, say, Super Mario World or the new Super Mario Bros. games where you can actually go back to old worlds that you've been into before. And we have our first power-up, which is this um, Super Leaf, which makes Mario grow a raccoon tail, which lets him fly. Uh, to fly, all, all you need to do is just uh, keep running until that P at the bottom of the screen there uh, flashes, and then just press the jump button and away you go. And then all you have to do is just keep uh, pressing the jump button until the P runs out. Um, other new things is the uh, goal system. Uh, as you can see, um, the goal is represented by uh, rotating cards. Uh, all you need to do is just run and touch one and you will get that card. There are three different types. You have a mushroom, a flower and a star. If you get three mushrooms, you will gain uh, two extra lives. If you get three flowers, you'll gain three extra lives. And gain three stars will give you five extra lives. So, yeah, you really, really, really want to go for the stars. And there are quite a few secrets here. So, for instance, here is one. You just go into this little pipe and you can get some coins. Not that that's really counted as a secret. It's more like, oh, here's some coins here. Let's go and grab them. Anyway, here's something new. P-switches. We've already seen one back in the first uh, level. Uh, P-switches will turn blocks into coins and coins into blocks. And they may do other things as well. God damn it, I was holding down there, so why the hell was, was Mario still uh, running down uh, that, that little slope? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, that is another new feature as well, is the slopes. Um, if you press down, you can uh, make Mario or Luigi, depending on who you're playing as, actually slide down and take out um, a whole bunch of enemies along the way. Okay, so we got a flower uh, card, so unfortunately we're not going to go for the three lives, but if you do get two of the same image, or if you get uh, three, or, uh, aye, three different images, then you will just get one life in instead of two, three, or, f or five. Okay, now here is another little secret right here. This is a red uh, music note block. Jump on it and then it will send you skyward. Literally, right up into the sky. This is known as Coin Heaven. And what you can find here is, well, a whole bunch of coins. But if, if you have a super leaf and if you fly up, you'll find a block containing a extra life, which I didn't get. It's probably going to vanish. Yes, it did. For some reason, the pipe here absorbed it. 
but I'm pretty sure in the Super Nintendo version, um, you can it actually get the the life ag again because I'm pretty sure it'll come back. Well, there we go. That is it. Uh, we have our first three cards, and we only get one life. But it's kind of nice that you, that you actually do get something from uh, getting different images. Okay, now here is something new. Here is a Toad's House. You get uh, to choose one of these three boxes, the left, the middle, or the right. Now because I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, I could make a, a quick save state and I could open up each one to see what's inside it, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to go for the left one. And it gives us a flower. So if you're playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, you can actually uh, make your save and then open up each one and see what items are in each box and see which one that you want to get. Okay, so here's level 4. Here's our first auto-scrolling level. Everyone loves auto-scrollers. Oh, and there goes the life. Oh well. It's a shame. But I already have 7 lives, which is plenty. Gotta watch out for these uh, moving pl- Oh god damn it! Well, that was unfortunate. There we go, we lost our first life. Oh well, let's get back in there. However, if you wanted to, you could actually forego doing uh, level 4 and go straight on to the next world because level 4 you don't really need to do. Or if you wanted to, you could forego doing level 3. But you will need, need to do either level 1 or level 2 if you want the Toad's House. Right, gotta get more coins. Come on, there we go. Can I? No, no, no! Oh wow, that was lucky. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure one of those other blocks there contained a, a power-up. Which is a shame. Oh god. Well, never mind. In fact, is there anything in there? No, I'm pretty sure it was the, the block above that's got coins in it. Although I still wonder why that in Super Mario... Really? Just... Really? Uh, I was right close to the end as well. Ugh. Okay guys, here I am. I managed to make it onto the pipe. Ay ay ay, that was really embarrassing. Just getting to the end and then just dropping off. Really? Ah oh well, never mind. Let's quickly get to the end before anything bad happens again. Well, we got ourselves a flower this time. Okay, here is something. This is a little uh, picture lineup game. Line up the pictures and get a prize. We only get one try. So this is kind of similar to um, the cards at the at the goals, where if you manage to line up a mushroom, you'll get two lives. Line up a flower, you'll get three lives, and line up a star, you'll get five lives. So let's see what we can do. Will we get a proper picture, or will we get some Frankenstein monster? Okay, so far so good. Let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah, look at that! Awesome! And look at the pictures on the uh, side, I managed to get those ones matched up as well. Very, very awesome. Okay, here's our first fortress. Which is something new in the Mario series because I don't think... In fact, yeah, you you never got fortresses um, in the Mario series, although you, you got the castles at the end of uh, every fourth uh, level in the first Super Mario Bros, but we never actually had any fortresses. Okay. Okay, now we have spikes coming down from the ceiling. So it's probably a, a no-brain- whoa! Yeah, it's probably a no-brain of what you're supposed to do here. Just avoid the spikes. And yeah, you don't need, actually need to duck underneath that one, you can just stand exactly where you are. Okay, here is Boom Boom. Boom Boom is always going to be the guardian of these fortresses. 
All you need to do is just stomp on him three times and you win. Easy. Or if you have a fire flower, you can chuck fireballs at him and you can beat him that way. Okay, here is something new. This is a card match game. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. You can only miss twice. Okay, so here we have it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 cards. Okay, so basically all we need to do is just flip a card over and see what it's got. So that one's got a 1-up, so we need to try and find the card that's got a 1-up in it. That one doesn't, that one's got a mushroom. But I do know that these two corners are always going to be stars. I don't know why, but that's just something that I've always remembered. Okay, let's go for this one. 10 coins. This one? No, it's it's coins, but it's 20 coins. So yeah, the, the game won't let you off, off easy by um, matching a 10 and a 20 coin. Okay, here is a hammer bro on the map. Uh, you will find these guys or some similar enemies on every single map in, in the game. Oh, uh, they are automatically um, started, so whenever you touch them, you'll be put straight into the fight. And all you need to do is beat them and you will get an item. Okay, now we're underground. But I'm going to take a quick shortcut if I can get to it. And that is right here. Here is another red music note block. Now, I don't know if there's like one red music note block hidden in, in every single level, or if, there's, if they're only hidden in very specific levels. Right, so we're gonna fly up because in coin heaven, naturally you will get an extra... Okay guys, for some strange reason, this bit is actually being post-commentated because the audio for this little bit here um, has cut off for some reason. But that's all I'm gonna say, the real audio will be back right now. And we're almost done, we just gotta avoid that prana plant. And up through this pipe and there we go. Here's the goal right here. Let's see, can I get a flower? Yes I can, good! Well, there we go. If I'm lucky, I might be able to get another flower and get three lives. Although, for some reason, getting the mushroom and the flower cards are a lot more difficult than getting the star cards. Because to get the star cards, all you need to do is just do a quick run and jump, and then that's it, you've, you've got them. Yes, because I have the super leaf, I can quickly skip some of these areas. Got some coins hiding in these blocks. I'm just gonna get these anyway because I've already got 80 coins. Okay, right, you better go to the left. Yes, you do. Because for some reason, if that um, life goes to the right, it's, it's gonna fall off unless you manage to, to catch it. But if it, if it goes to the left, it'll bounce off this block and then it'll come back towards you. Okay, now let's take another shortcut. Oh, no, 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 that's not gonna work. No, get back. Oh, god damn it, that was stupid. Damn it, I should have just stayed on that. Right, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this, but no, I'm not. That was a failure in itself. Alright, let's let's go back. Luckily, I didn't... Um, well, yeah, luckily I didn't get too far, so... I can just easily get back pretty quickly. But yeah, what I was trying to do is uh, um, you can actually fly over the rest of that area and then you can um, you can uh, skip a whole bunch and skip all of this. So yeah, I'm very very sorry about that. I thought I, c I could actually jump back. Yeah, I I've been, been playing Mario Bros 3 for years and I didn't even know that I couldn't even jump back there. Right, can I make this jump? Yes I can, good. Right, now can I get a star? Nope, just a mushroom. Oh well, never mind. Okay, here's a Toad's House, the second and last Toad's House in World 1. Let's go for the middle one this time. And we get a mushroom. So yeah, remember we got two stars, we got one from the Hammer Bro and one from the Card Match game. Now let's do the castle. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. So yeah, that is the plot of the 
uh, castles is that the king has been transformed into an animal and we have to get the wand to transform them back. And we are on an airship. Um, all airships are going to be auto scroll, so there's nothing much we can do about that. And we do have to watch it for cannons and bullet bells. Because they are out to get us and stop us from completing our mission. Okay, good. That'll be very, very handy. That uh, super mushroom. Now I just need to avoid these cannons because those rotating ones can be pretty much a of a pain. But yeah, those rotating cannons, they only fire two cannons. They don't uh, fire cannons out of all four each time. But when you get to the end, you go down the pipe and you will fight your first Koopaling. This is when Koopalings were first introduced to the Mario Bros series. Um, I don't know who that one is, I think it's Lemmy. But all you need to do is jump on their heads three times and there you go. They will fly off in, into the sky, drop the wand and you have won. And then the airship suddenly vanishes and because of the wand's magic powers, we slowly float back down and right into the castle. And there we go. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. So yeah, whenever we um, get the wand back, we will get a letter from Princess Toadstool. She will give us a item and a little hint for uh, our next journey. Uh, this hint is that if we see any ghosts, they will give chase if we turn our backs on them. So this is where they gave the introduction of booze. And the item we get is a P-Wing. What does the P-Wing do? Well, it's just kind of like the Raccoon Leaf, except it gives us infinite flight for one level, or until we get hit. But that is going to be it for Super Mario Bros. Th uh, 3, guys. Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you've liked this video, then give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, then why not consider subscribing and become part of the Gondor team? And together, let's make this channel big. Let's make it huge. Let's make it a success. So, cheerio, and I'll see you in the next video.